Hello and welcome to session number 45 of Outlander's Guide to Lidaria. Welcome back, everyone. Oh. Hello. Where am I? Hello. Hello. What is this? Oh no, it's been too long. <laughs> it's been 84 years. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, here's the table. Uh, here's the table. It's still here for all of you to see, and nobody has flipped it yet. Hold on, let's wipe the dust off. <laughs> there. <laughs> we'll the let's, dust off the table. Let's jump right back into it. Uh, I'm going to give the job of reminding us what happened last time. Oh wow, what a surprise. I didn't <laughs> see this coming. I'm wholly unprepared. Well, allow me to simply recite back what happened purely from memory. Behold. My impressive wit. I'm so uh, ready yeah, for Matt's last wit. Time... <laughs> mm. uh, last time. After leaving the uh, the heart creature infested tomb, uh, we find that the remaining weeping hearts outside are dead in an embrace. Uh, we made some brief conversation about the origins of the hearts before leaving with Devamia and Frida, revealing that they have been on this expedition for almost a year and were entirely unaware of Jamuel's disappearance. Uh, and they both seem to be relative fans of Jamuel, a uh, counter to literally everyone else we've met who thought he was a dick. Um, Devami and Freyda shared their knowledge about the Ladarian Dragonborn, uh, and that there's a legend about the Stilling Dread, that back when the Ladarians were fighting each other, the dragons called upon the power of the Stilling Dread to turn this part of the world to stone with her petrifying breath. Uh, some dragons disagreed based on the cruelty of using petrification breath, and instead wanted to evacuate the locals. The two dragons were known as Kirio and Mirio. Uh, they didn't have time to evacuate the people of the forest, so instead they offered to give them the power of a dragon, and thus Ladari and Dragonborn were made. Um, when the Stilling Dread descended and turned the forest to stone, those people survived and continued to live after the war, presumably in hiding. Uh, Pontifex asked about if there was any relation to the Lord of the Sky, which the two seemed to doubt having any involvement outside of being just the Lord of the Dragons. Uh, we then asked why the Dragonborn would go into hiding, uh, with the Professor again remarking about the endless confidence and lack of caution that comes with Dragonhood, uh, almost as if a first-hand experience. Um, and then the two suggested that maybe they aren't in hiding, but are just somewhere that's hard to reach. Uh, Pip assumes that they're talking about the lands in the sky, which Devami and Freyda don't seem to surprised to hear about, which is surprising to me. Uh, and they humor the possibility the non-dragons would be killed for being there. Uh, Pontifex says something about being caged instead, which is brushed off as a joke, and it's left there. Um, Talix, Pip, and Squeak plan to stay behind with Divine and Frida to exchange notes and read more of Aaron's journals um, inside of our tower, uh, with Pip also asking more about the Ayatara Doof before the group splits us uh, across the rooms and everyone kind of went to their own thing. Uh, Pip brings up that we had uh, one in this tower, Ayatara Doof, and that due to the rules of the tower, it might still be here. Um, Frida explains how all the Ayatara have evolved to coexist with their animal counterparts, like the birds, the fish, and possibly the moths. Uh, Pip leaves to look for the moth, Pontifex departs for the spa, and Brooke asks a few more questions about Devami and Freyda. They claim to be from the Silver Claw Guild, uh, and that they've been funded to go on this expedition with the promise of bringing back results. Uh, they say that they enjoy being on their own, but invite the group to come with them to learn more about the Ladarian Dragonborn. Brooke asks them to wait so that the group can decide together, and so Devami instead asks what we are looking for and asks if they can be of help to us. Uh, Tekka gives a Tekka-level vague response uh, <laughs> that we are quote-unquote seeking answers uh, and refuses to elaborate any further. Uh, the group discusses some more logistics about how the pair have fared so far, and the conversation is put on hold until the morning. Uh, and then Pip checks Orm before he goes to bed and learns that Orm remembers a giant stone skull. Uh, when Orm and Jangmo found it, Orm was sent away. He remembers having to travel through the dust, whatever that means, to reach it. Uh, and then Pip leaves to retrieve Pontifex from the spa and rejoins the group to show everyone the journal. Devami and Freyda have questions about the book, and they don't recognize Orm by name. Uh, both parties acknowledge that not all questions will be answered. We kind of agree to, to 
a level of secrecy that everyone seems acceptable. Uh, Devon made Freda offer to instead be led by us to the skull. Uh, we seem to agree with Orm claiming it to be about two to three days travel. Uh, Squeak asked Devami and Freda to write a book about his dad. Pontifex offers to edit and proofread, but is offered to be sent a copy in the mail, much to his delight. Uh, he introduces himself to them properly with his professional titles and gives them a lengthy lecture about the theological history of the Wyvern while the rest of the party retreats uh, to sleep. Uh, in exchange, Devami and Freda, uh, seemingly enjoying the lecture, uh, lecture Pontifex in return about Ladarian gods uh, and about how four entities, though technically five, um, which are Kyriel and Muriel, the dragon pair, uh, Meotapite, the Lady of the Land, and Natarath. Uh, we learn that Kyriel and Muriel are the dragons who supposedly created the dragonborn. They're the gods of blood, as in the, bond the bonds that tie people together. Uh, the Ladarian word for friend literally translates to of the same blood, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and that the moons that they live on were created by the Stilling Dread, so they're space dragons. Um, the Lady of the Land is the one that we're vaguely familiar with, uh, who is the goddess of life and dreams, and the chaotic whims of the seasons and the weather uh, is prayed to for good and bad harvests, uh, with the quote of the Lady gives and the Lady takes. Uh, Meota Pite, who is known as the First Martyr, the god of selflessness and love and is associated with the sun, and then Natarath, the daughter of the sea, the goddess of strength and loss, uh, who supposedly judges the souls of the dead, and that those found worthy find rest, and the unworthy are dragged beneath the world to be punished until reincarnation. Uh, eventually, Frida passes out while Pontifex and Devamia speak through the night before going to sleep. And in the morning, we follow Orm's direction to the southwest, where he remembers the giant stone skull to be. Uh, we come across several stone animals with cracked shells and petrified grass until eventually finding a butterfly uh, living. Continuing on the journey, we find out a bunch of elephants. And then the following morning, Pip is accosted by angry birds asking for help. Uh, or no, while Pip was asking the birds for help. Uh, something stole the bird's eggs, so we come to an agreement to help them out. Venturing into a cave with the birds in tow, we see a blue light. Pontifex adjusts the light color to match uh, and prepares casting Detect Magic just moments before Devamia stubs her toe on a rock, uh, somersaults through the floor, and a comical pileup happens uh, with everyone smashing into each other uh, before the group is then doused in acid <laughs> and we call the session before rolling initiative against whatever just happened. <laughs> Great summary! <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Well done. Uh, I needed that because, again, I did not remember. Oh no, because I have a photographic memory and recalled yeah. all of these events. My yeah, exactly I was about like to say that. thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah. A brave party of No, it's been a while, so there's a thorough recap. No, uh, no gimmicks, just words. <laughs> Here you go. Oop. Pile inspiration. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate your summary. Wait! Oh no! Next time it's supposed to be Austin's! Uh-oh! But Austin will not be here next Sunday. Mm. Or the right, we'll next figure, one. Or the next one. We'll figure it out, but don't think you're getting out of your <laughs> duties. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So. That. to the cave. And the terrible thing. Any of our fate. loving fans that are watching, uh, if I trail off mid-sentences because my internet is being dumb and I'm very happy that the recap went with no interruptions. It was perfect. Um, and if your internet knows what's best for it, it will hold up. <laughs> 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 Going to kick its butt. Keep walking, see. No pauses, see. So, um, the party is having a terrible day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see if that is followed also by terrible rolls. Uh, go ahead and roll for initiative, and I'm going. I think it's fine. I locked you guys temporarily. If I do this. Okay, there you go. Um, oh, we're missing the grid. Here you go. 
Maybe you guys being sideways might make it difficult to set your initiatives. Whoops. I have forgotten how to roll dice. Okay, here we go. Let's see, Talix. Oh wow. Is a plus two. <laughs> There's a start. Dang. Does that count as a nat twenty? Of course. Let's go. Well That's done. My... Uh oh. Can you okay, guys see your do... chat? Like the TTS yeah. chat? Uh oh. Mine is not showing up. Uh -oh. Yeah, we see it. Uh, you just rolled an initiative for an eight. I'm okay. assuming that's what that roll was. Yeah, that's for Talix. But there you go, I kind of need the chat log, otherwise I can't see you guys' uh, um, rolls. We'll just tell you what they are. <laughs> Oh, right, what? guys. To be fair, everyone rolled like extremely what? well, except for poor okay. Sid. Apparently, my it's the fine. chat was disabled in my interface, but yep, no, it's back hmm. now. There's there's a setting for it. Okay, so if uh, everyone is set. No, I'm not able to access the UI. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, but just pull yourself up. It's fine. Thank you. Just pull remember. yourself up by your bootstraps, Tekka. <laughs> <laughs> Pull yourself up with the bootstraps and type your initiative into that thing over your head. Y'all are smooth <laughs> criminals right now. <laughs> oh, Back yeah. in my day, we had to roll initiative uphill both ways. <laughs> Oops, I forgot about the Vomia. Sisyphus just rolling a giant d20 up a hill. <laughs> Roll it again. I need to pick her up too. I hey. really really love these Effect. mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do? I do. Good. Are they You're friendly? Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is what? probably the thing we're fighting. <laughs> Spores, they're sure, healthy they for you. They love you. Perfect. They just want to kill you. <laughs> like all good mushies do. They call good mushies. Okay. Let's see if that... Oops. Oh no. What an unlucky thing I like that you specified which of the shield vultures is mom and which one is dad. Thank you. Because one of them is under a magical effect. And one isn't. Oh, one right. One of them is way more pissed about the eggs than the other. Yes. Sure. Oh my god. Alright, that's good it? enough. Uh, let's try again. We good? Like the foot. I don't know why it starts me around too. Okay, so before we actually start with uh, combat, uh, I need Pip, Eka, Brooke, and I'll roll for Devamia uh, to roll a dexterity saving throw. Being prone we... does not... Hmm? Oh, that's what I was going to ask. <laughs> Being prone does not uh, impose disadvantage. Um, that's so it's so fine. It's a normal silly. rule. Oh, d, d rules. Ooh. Oh, well, okay. Everybody passes. Um, hey! So, the... the <laughs> despite uh, the fact that you have all lost your footing and tripped and fallen... Uh, and in front of the horrified eyes of everybody else in the back who is seeing this happening, uh, as acid falls on you and begins to... You're hearing the sizzling of your clothes and your skin is hurting. Uh, but uh, all of you really just get like the, the, the smallest droplets and you avoid the largest actual like shower of acid that is falling on you. Uh, and with your, with your backs on the ground, you look up... Uh, uh, to see, well, nothing but the cave ceiling at first, but there is movement, almost like the rocks are moving, and, well, they're not rocks, they're not stalactites, um, there's some kind of rocky creature uh, that sliz slithers down from the ceiling, and uh, uh, a small group of what feels like giant uh, lizards, um, uh, Surrounds you. Oh, they're cute. <laughs> I. 
Oh, hello. Not, Hi. not. The, wait, that's the not the reaction drums. I expected. <laughs> Hold on. The little droopies. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wait, I'm a dripper. They're on the ceiling scared. or on the ground? They're ah. dropping down to the ground. They're coming to us? Ah, yeah? Oh, oh buddy. Poor little guys. <laughs> oh, oh, buddy. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> um, okay. And now... <coughs> in a second... Um... Boop! Rook! It's your turn. What would you like to do? Well, I would like to stand up. I'll allow it. Huh. Oh. Oh. I didn't want to show all that. I don't oh, get to... Too much information. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. And, well, since this guy dropped so nicely next to us, Mm -hmm. I guess I'll take two swings at him. Okay, go right Give ahead. Give me a second. I need to check what I do for that. Ow. Okay. So it's number 19 one. Hits. 19. Oh. Okay. That's 15 damage. Okay. Uh, remind me. Your your weapon. Um, right now you don't have a right on it, yes? No, I don't. And it's, it's just, just a normal... Okay, and it's slashing damage. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, you, you find right away uh, that this uh, tough stone-like exterior that envelops these lizards uh, makes it really difficult for your weapon to actually cut through it. Uh, so, as, as targets, they're big, they're easy enough to hit, but the actual damage that you're dealing is less than you would have liked. Does that mean I can activate a ride in between the two hits as a bonus action? Um, you can, yes. Cool. Let's see how much damage that was. I think it's 1d6, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was... Radiant damage. Then, okay. Then I'll use the Ride of the Dawn. So I take... Four. Okay, and the second attack... There's an 11 to hit. Uh, an 11 is not enough. Okay. Um, the the time that's... it took you to like cut your uh, the, your own forearm uh, and then try to strike with your now glowing weapon was just enough time for this uh, giant loser to reposition itself uh, and uh, dodge out of the way of your second blow. Okay. And that's my turn then. Okay. Um... Squeak. Ha! Squeak is going to do a squeak leap over squeak here. Leap. And uh, is going to, like, just sort of claw up onto this lizard's head and just try and uh, distract it and use the help action to make Pip's next attack maybe hit better on mm -hmm. it. And speaking of Pip... <clears throat> All right, Pip's gonna stand up. Uh, look at this thing. This thing—it it looks like it's made of stone. Yeah, as if like the 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 scales of this lizard uh, were just this series of thin pebbles. Okay, uh, Pip hastily gets to his feet and reaches down into his pouch and pulls out three rocks and speaks in uh, a slithery whisper to this uh, dripper <laughs> uh, and we'll try and speak in a, in a lizard like tongue to it uh, holding out the rocks and saying if you all don't cut this out I'm going to cut you up and put you in my bag with the rest of your family 
and is going to cast <laughs> magic stones uh, on the rocks and chuck one at it. With the rest of your family. <laughs> Refer to the rocks. <laughs> yep. All stones are canonically family now. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Uh, one improved magic stone coming up. Mm -hmm, at mm -hmm. advantage? Cause because help? of squeak, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, Wait, five. 25 hits? Wait. Wait. That's not right. Uh, no, that. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't roll at advantage. I just rolled two d oh. <laughs> I okay. swear I remember how to be, play this there game. There will be a 12 so plus 19. 7, 19 hits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right. For 13 magical bludgeoning. It's magical bludgeoning. Okay, uh, one of your little pebbles seem to have, um, seem to hurt more than Brooke's, uh, than Brooke's royal and very sharp weapon, uh, and leaves like this very visible indent uh, on the on the scales of this giant lizard, who like uh, recoils from the blow and hisses at you, uh, and to your ears, Pip. Uh, this giant lizard uh, is uh, is saying. Hmm. Actually, let me let me do a thing. Oh. Okay. Um. To your ears, Pip. The lizard says, "You will make for an excellent gift." Interesting. Anything else on your turn? That's, uh, uh hmm, I don't know. Hmm. Is this a movable space? Uh, sure. Okay, then Pip will scoot here. Okay, you are, you are like flattening yourself <laughs> up against the wall. Yeah. Uh, it's still your go. All right. Uh, as uh, time so for one of the birds. Is the sh is uh, Pontifex within five feet of this? You would say. Yeah, they occupy. They're yeah, large. He's... They occupy the four squares. All right. Uh, then Shield Vulture has pack tactics, and so I guess it considers Pontifex an ally. Mm-hmm. Uh, so <laughs> the shield vulture, uh, the dad is going to put uh, his wings together like a big shield in front of him and uh, just move forward at lightning fast speed and try and bash this thing in. Okay. Uh, okay. Roll with advantage, not two d20s. Twenty-two hits. Okay. Two D four. So that's eight bludgeoning damage, and it needs to make a strength saving throw. For a grand total of thirteen. Thirteen just fails, and so it's pushed back twenty feet. Damage was eight. Uh, which goes through. Uh, the shield-like wings of the vulture uh, bash against the head of the giant lizard uh, as the bird squeaks and the, and the lizard cries out in pain. You can see that some of the pebbles uh, that, that make up its scales end up getting cracked from the sheer uh, strength of the blow. Uh, and it goes all the way 20 feet back here. All right. Uh, and I think it's just gonna stay put. Okay. Pontifex. 
Uh, great, that thing's gone. That, that fixed my my problem. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me reevaluate. No, this is actually still good. Uh, Pontifex is going to cast Tasha's Mind Whip, and I'm going to upcast this uh, to third level. Uh, so he's going to try to uh, to reach into the brains of Dripper Two. Drippy two and drippy three. Drippy two and drippy three. Uh, and try to give them really bad migraines. Okay. Uh, they both have to make uh, DC sixteen intelligence saves. Oh, intelligence. Ooh. Yeah, and this doesn't have a uh, like a this spell fails if they're too dumb. This just works. What was the DC? Uh, sixteen. Okay. Ah, that's one less problem then. So one of them on a 16 succeeds, but the other one on an 11 fails. Uh, number okay. two is the one that failed. Okay, good. Uh, they... We do the damage. Um, since these are additional targets, I think I have to roll a damage individual. Which is kind of more. That's okay. Sure. Uh, so we'll say this is number... <clears throat> Which number uh, it's do you half say? on a success. Uh, that's drippy two. Okay. Which takes the full. And then 14. just is drippy three. It's half on this one. <clears throat> yeah. If if they succeed, it does half damage. Okay. Uh, and if they fail, uh, they take full damage, and they also uh, cannot take reactions until the end of their next turn. And also on their next turn, it has to choose between a move, an action, or a bonus action. It only gets one. Got it. All right. Uh, anything and else? And he's going to. And he is going to move. Um, <clears throat> like this path. Uh, he's gonna go here to make it harder for anything to get to the boy, to the child, and to kind of block the bomb. Okay. Is this a valid space? Or is yes. she in this space? Um, oh, actually, she is in that space. I just gave up on repositioning her thing. Okay, then he'll go here. Let me. Yeah. Okay. Now, the. Uh, all of them go. <laughs> uh, their, their initiatives are all so close together. Uh, they're in order. One, two, three. Look at that. This will never happen again. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, look at that. Uh, look how perfect. How perfect is this? Um, as uh, this particular uh, lizard opens its mouth and hisses. It's not just sound that comes out of it, but also acid. I need Brook, Pontifex, and then Devamia um, to roll a deck save. Oh, my, my forte. Nailed it. And uh, Dennis? Mm-hmm. Can you say that again, please? I need mean, dexterity saving throw. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh, 20. Oh, oh, oh. 20. Oh, my, oh my God. Uh, we take this. <laughs> Brooke, despite being, like, directly in its face, uh, <laughs> is the only, only one who succeeds. <laughs> Ah, <coughs> uh, so... Hello, where's my dice? Um... Pontifex and Devamia will take 8 acid damage. I will, uh... Cast Absorb Elements, uh, to reduce... Uh, to get resistance, so... 4. Okay. Um, it caught me off guard from the back. <laughs> Whoa. Let's see. Moving on to number two. Uh, it has to choose between um, movement and action? It can only move, action, or bonus action. It has to pick one of those three. 
Okay. Uh, that means he will just like go back, and that will be its turn. Um, here's an interval in my series of turns. As Austin, you get to control this. Hee <laughs> hee. Glad it moved back. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> now <laughs> advantage. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Um. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Shield bash for twenty. Twenty hits, and that'll be nine points of bludgeoning. So number and two. This time, she's uh, the mom is going to sweep her wings underneath its legs and swipe them up rapidly. Uh, to make it be knocked prone. Just the size of her wings almost matches the entire length of the giant lizard. Uh, basically, go, like goes beneath it, like almost the entire length of it, and flips it over, like it's nothing. Anything else from her? Uh, I think she's gonna stay put. <laughs> You're gonna hey. tag team this sucker. <laughs> um. Oops. Let me let me write this down before I forget. Mm. Mm. Got it. Yeah, what do you think? We're uh. afraid of you? Pip and I are never gonna back. Pip? <laughs> Pip! <laughs> the, the lizard bites squeak. <laughs> uh, it does not have its acid back. Uh, does a. Does a 15 hit squeak? Sure does. No mech suit here. No mech suit yet. <laughs> oh no! I don't have the dice prepared, where are they? I don't often use D10s. Guess that means it does no damage. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe that is the rules, my dear friend. <laughs> it's a grand tool. <laughs> of... Uh, uh, 13 piercing damage. Okay, thankfully Squeak is resistant. Okay, but is resistant. Right, but is it's squeak... non magical. It is non magical. And it doesn't have silver teeth? Uh, no, but is Squeak resistant to being grappled? No. Okay, uh, Squeak is being held in the mouth of this giant lizard. Gently? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, gently. Just takes off with squeak. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it takes off. Uh, it climbs up on this like taller part of the cave. Uh, imagine the ceiling is like further up than this. This creepy um, got what he came for. <laughs> well, he was really aiming a little for a morsel. squeak, but yeah, this is like just the appetizer. Ah, uh, ta 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 ta, Talix. Um, okay. Uh, give me general guidelines. Like, if at any point you guys are like, can we have a heal? Then that's what Talix will do. Uh, so far, I think the only one desperately in need of a heal is Squeak, isn't it? Uh, can we see okay. Squeak, or is that around um, this corner? You can oh, see Squeak. You have you have direct line of sight to the lizard and uh, the imp. Uh, let's do something simple, and have uh, the four of you uh, be targeted by a nap cast bless. Uh, as Talix encourages you to do your best and be careful. So that that includes Pontifex, Brook, Tech, and Pip. <laughs> I can't do it, I'm sorry. You only need to do your best and be careful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. I didn't uh, want to go full patty. <laughs> so every, every humanoid minus Devamia uh, gets a little bless. Um, mm. 
but as a plus action, he also regains the spells that he just spent. There we go, because he's a little he's a little tired today already. Okay. Um and also perhaps moves like sure, this is fine. Um The family stands up <laughs> and joins the fight. Um what have we got? 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, she only has 15 left, so she can't really get into a flanking position with anyone. Uh, but she can still get, like, between the kid and the giant lizard. Um, and, uh, um, she, she's, she's doing this little, like, she, she dusts her pants off uh, uh, and says, Oh, that, that was nothing. I'm fine. Uh, comes over and, and takes the axe out and, uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> fucks up entirely nearly gets one of Brooke's feet <laughs> um oh, she's supposed to be better than this <laughs> she's supposed to be so cool but she's <laughs> such a joke no she's supposed to be cool and busy <laughs> 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 she was I guess the extra five feet is fine 15 15 yes okay uh which brings us to Taka okay yeah, so uh, Tekka rolls around back onto his feet and will then face this dripper. Say, Cave Dweller, you will face me! And what Tekka will do is to help Brooke by distracting it, by fainting attacks, by like sort of prodding its back leg to try to put it off balance. And to hopefully give uh, a good strike. Nice. Okay. Is that everything from Tekka? That is all. Brook, you are being assisted by your friend. Good teamwork, good teamwork. Oh, let's go. Does it mean I have advantage? You have advantage on your next strike. All right, let's do it. <coughs> That's a nat 20. Oh, sure. Yeah, keep coming. It's a third one for tonight. That means out for the rest of the year. 30 minutes <laughs> in, three nat 20s. <laughs> keep up that quota. <laughs> one every um, ten. That's more than I just had in a year of Eberron. <laughs> yeah, I know. You say one year, but two years. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like twice the dice? Uh, yeah. Including, cool. yeah, including an extra Crimson Riot to die. Really? All oh, dice. I think he might be dead. It's number one. <laughs> okay. Oh my so god. The eight plus, plus four, Six. that's the uh, I'm assuming so, weapon. Yeah. Oh, oops. Uh, so that gets how the two six. The rest. Ah, uh, now that your weapon is glowing and you actually land the blow, uh, it's it's like cutting through butter. Uh, you end up uh, uh, opening this wide gash in the lizard's back. Uh, it's another. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it is. Unhappy about it. Go ahead and roll your second attack. Okay. Thank you, Tekka. Mm -hmm. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. A 23 also hits. Haven't mm. used a bless yet. Nice. Ooh, wait, I, I did math wrong. Well, let me let me fix this. Okay. There we go. That's correct. How the uh, got it? I do good math. Nicer, nicer. Anything Very else you'd valuable like? Valuable help actions there, Sid. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, anything else I you'd like to do on I, your turn? 
I think that's more than enough for this turn. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, there's now multiple lights, not just the uh, Pontifex's staff shining through the cave, but um, the the flash from Brook's weapon cutting through the air. Uh, it lights up this place uh, like as if you're in, in full daytime. Uh, and while that beautiful spectacle is uh, going on down here, Squeak ah! terrible time. <laughs> That's like I'm in a cave within a cave! Pip, help me! <laughs> Squeak is like on his back, like, hands and legs up in the air, just trying to keep the upper jaw from closing in on him. <laughs> uh, he's going to try and break free. Okay. <laughs> With his incredible um, strength. Let me make sure there aren't, like, this grapple... Yes. Uh, escaping this grapple basically works differently. It's a set DC instead of a contested check. Okay. Um, and it's a... Uh, uh, you can pick between athletics and acrobatics. Okay. Uh, acrobatics for sure. 16. Oh, 16 does it. All right. Uh, so... He just slips between like, the teeth. <laughs> slides out. <laughs> um, that was action, yes? Yes. Okay. So... Uh, so Squeak's going to like still be sort of latched on to this to its like uh, to the side of its cheek, <laughs> and uh, it's going to stick there until Pip's turn. Okay. Uh, for Pip's bonus action, uh, Squeak is going to attack with Stinger. Just try and like jab it into its little jugular area. Um. Here we go. Nine. Ah, uh, is this with? Is this like? Is this, does this attack technically come? Does this get the pips bless or is it squeaks? Uh? I'm pretty sure it would be squeaks. Okay. Uh, so yeah. a nine does not it. And uh, Squeak's just like, oh, come on! All right, Pip, get, better get me out of here. And Pip's going to snap his fingers, and Squeak will poof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the cheek turned out to be a lot more resistant than it should have been. Uh, uh, it's, it's almost like the write entirety... Write that down, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like even the entirety, even the inside of the mouth was made of stone. It was just really hard for Squeak to like pierce it. All right, uh, that's going to be Pip's turn as well. Hey, what about the uh, dead bird? Smack. Smack. Well, Smash. while it's down, prone on the ground, just tr going to try and take those wings down and slice its belly. Maybe it's got a softer underbelly. All the advantages. Oh, boy. All right. Here we go. 25. 25 hits. And that'll be seven bludgeoning. Seven bludgeoning. And is going to uh, use its talons and its wings to push it back 20 feet while it's prone. <laughs> uh, which one is this? So uh, basically, it would just go up against the wall. Uh, it wouldn't really move from this angle. But that doesn't mean it takes extra damage from slamming against the wall of the cave. Which adds up to an extra three. Nice. Oh wait! Three kills it! Ha! Ah! <laughs> it was really close! They give a they give a wing five. <laughs> uh, five five doesn't make sense. It doesn't matter. Um Yeah. <laughs> the, the the giant lizard has just been pummeled uh, by these wings that are anything but soft and pleasant to the touch. Um <laughs> And with just his, the, all the weight of the vulture behind its uh, uh, bashing, it ends up getting slammed against the wall, and you, and you, you hear this like sickly sound of uh, bones breaking and stone shattering. And this lizard does not move anymore. Nice. Would the vulture like to go anywhere? Um, I 
think it will turn its attention to this one. Okay, but not before having a little peck at its, I did now expose yeah. the flesh of this lizard. Nom 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 nom. It's making a point. We'll be back for it later. Uh, Pontifex. Uh, yeah, which space is flanking with Brook? This one or this one? Or both? Uh, either. Oh. Wait. Uh, uh, yeah, either. Because uh, I can do either one. I, I just wanted to make sure I would go to the right one. Uh, fun effects, uh, after absorbing the spit earlier, uh, is wanting to do something with it. So he's going to... Uh, <laughs> now the squeak's gone and the other one's dead, he's going to run around. Uh, wait. The bird yeah, moves 25? out of the way for you. Why is that 25? 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Is the, the diagonals. Oh, do we do the, the Euclidean? Do. The 5 and then 10 altering? Yeah, and the scripting oh. does it. Uh, 5 and 15, game. 15, 25 here too. Yeah, okay, I can't. Wow. Okay, I didn't know we did that. Uh, is your walking speed 20 feet right now? Yeah, it's always 20. Uh, all right, well, Brooke, I tried. Well enough, well enough. Wait, oh man, I can't even do it for Tekka. Well, Tekka, I tried. Okay, <laughs> <good things here. laughs> all right, Devon me. Uh, Pontifex is going to come over here. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, use my action to try to smash this thing with my magic staff. Okay. Uh, probably poorly, but we'll... Uh, it's at least magical, so maybe it'll be fun. Uh, wow. Pontifex just resorting so, to bashing things with his staff. Yeah. The so minus two, but I have bless. Okay, here we go. Fancy stuff with advantage. Did it oh, roll advantage? No. It didn't. The the two is the bless. It didn't roll advantage. Try this instead. Maybe. So thirteen minus two, eleven. Uh, eleven doesn't do it. Uh, he tried. He like circles around and tries to bonk them and whatever acid was built onto the staff goes away. Uh, uh, this is fun. I had a master <laughs> plan uh, and I'm going to. <laughs> this seems like a, a silly use for this spell, but I guess I can do this. Is Devamia hurt? Yeah, slightly. Great. Uh, I'm going to bonus action healing word Devamia. Okay. And with my voice of authority feature, she gets to make an attack against oh, anything within range. Oh. And she has advantage because flanking. Hey. This time she lands a blow. Um, <laughs> Show yeah, me you... what that X does. <laughs> oh, wow. For max damage, too. Oh, wait. Holy nice. shit. Uh, and she heals it. for uh, five. <laughs> she killed it. Great. That's what I meant yeah. to do. I was just distracting it. Uh, and he heals that her is. for five in the process. Uh, five. Amazing. Ah, I dropped my pen. Uh, <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, so yeah, you found that uh, it looks like sharp weapons don't really do much against these stone scales. So you came over with your staff, bonk. Maybe your weapon was more appropriate, but you lacked the strength. Uh, so you just looked over at, at the Vamya and um, with with your teacher voice that just inspires uh, people to like do do as you say. Um, she takes advantage of the situation. Yeah, do better. Uh, she yeah, tries she to impress, and uh, uh, yeah, the the max damage did it because otherwise you because it, it <coughs> resists her weapon, but it was just enough. Fantastic. Uh, so, the stripper is down, the stripper is down. Um, Mom Vulture? Yep. 
you're you're muted, Austin. But we lost them. Oh, ah, Austin. sorry, I didn't realize. Uh, so yeah, she's gonna come up here. Oh. Skarmory uses steel wing. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, against uh, for alligator. All right. Sad face <laughs> for alligator. Can we just collect all of these animals? When Twenty hit? hit. What? You can't adopt the dripper. Can the dripper. Can we train them up? <laughs> the drippies. <clears throat> Eleven points size. of blushing. Technically, we could ride them. And she is going to yeet him. <laughs> just big beat of her wings. Boom. Yeet. It's about right. Cool. Um, and then right. Is this if a she 15 has movement foot left, fall? Oh, for a lot of damage too. Damn. I'm doing some work. Yeah, you don't mess with her babies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that's the end of her turn. That's it. Okay. Uh, Pip. To what everyone else's ears, it just sounds like pain, the hisses. Uh, to you, it, the, the lizard's voice comes through uh, as it, uh, um, it sh shouts uh, in in you guys' uh, general direction. I will earn my chains. Um, and as it uh, uh, moves... Kind of like in Talix's direction, you see Talix like bracing for impact. Um, it sort of you all lose sight of it. It, it, it almost feels like it uh, it went invisible, but but not quite. Uh, and I'll just take a perception check from from everyone here. I'll, I'll roll one for Talix. Damia, the sure. I'll roll one for Damia and Talix. Uh, Static set. Okay, Ooh. we we have some successes for sure. Okay, Dennis. Well, group doesn't mm -hmm. really need to roll. I suppose we have some okay. enough, enough successes between uh, the ever observant Pontifex uh, and Tech, ever aware of his surroundings. Um, this lizard has merged into the stone ground, as if it as if uh, it was just uh, uh, descending into water. Uh, the floor almost seems to displace to let uh, to make room for it. And with that, we are out of initiative. Uh oh. Yoink. I hate it when lizards say very ominous things. <laughs> <laughs> and your Discord messaging foreshadowing of that statement. <laughs> True. Uh, so Pip is going to pop Squeak back on his shoulder. Uh... And Squeak's just going to say, Oh! 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 I'm hurt! Oh! I'm injured! Oh, this is the end of me! I'm done! Kaput! Finale! <laughs> Talix in his distinctive accent says that it's... No, it's not the end. It was a good run, right. Squeak. <laughs> I will remember you as you were, not Hell as you my as become. dad! That I always loved him, and I just wanted to make him proud. Squeak gets healed oh, for Oh, I six feel points. perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm saved. <laughs> Incredible. Mm. We are not safe. We should not stay here long. These dwellers will return. I agree. I think we have to move quickly. 
Um, the lizard said something really weird. It uh, said... yeah, yeah, the lizard said some really weird stuff. What? Uh, Deva Devamia. That? Devamia <laughs> speaks up. Wait, you can hear him too? Yeah? What do you mean, yeah, like that's normal? I have not told you that I can do this. Sorry, you I have, thought it but came only up. Me. I'm sorry, I didn't relay that further. No, that's. I, I, it's, it's just magic, it's fine. You can do crazier things than I can. Um, well, anyway, maybe you can. I mean, you heard it too, right? That it said it would. that we would make a good gift and that. It wants to earn its chains? Mm. Hey, wait a minute! I took my rock! Hey! I <laughs> 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 trying to find it. <laughs> you find it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that was my fifth favorite rock. <laughs> Hmm. You know, uh, chains represent uh, uh, some things in Ladarian culture, but it's not something I would expect a lizard to know. It's probably nothing. What does it represent? Uh, bad stuff. Sorry, I'm not trying to be vague. It, uh, I, I I should go through my notes. It's it's. Um, and she's like snapping her fingers, trying to remember. Ah, uh, something to do with like really bad people. Like you know, you you would chain up people that are bad and they commit crimes and such. They're not something to be earned. Not something you would want. Ah, I apologize, that's not very helpful. Why don't we just get those eggs and get out of here? Yeah, the, the vultures definitely start getting antsy, like, wanting to go further. If they right, are well, uh, Yeah, go on, go on. Keep the eyes on the ceiling this time, I suppose. If they are preparing gifts, they are loyal to some, not none. All right. Okay. Who's leading? Is it uh, uh, back to Tekka? Tekka will keep walking. All right. Um, you can is the see whole thing now lit up? Hmm? Uh, you is have sources of light. There is your weapon. I think. I told him, I'm going off okay. of memory. I think you're right. Uh, Pontifex does. He has his, uh, mm -hmm. his little light on the end does. of his okay. staff that yeah. he color shifted to be blue. Yep, the two of you have lights now going on, and uh, further ahead in the but... cave, you can begin to see, like, more color, uh, in <coughs> general. There's, like, colorful flowers and, um, and mushrooms. Actually, let me stop you right here, because Tekka, uh, I need a dexterity saving throw from you right now. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do it. <laughs> look up, Tekka, look up. Yeah, let's keep an eye out for danger. Uh, sound of Tekka making <laughs> deck save in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Literally 15 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Tekka, of course, um, he hearing your companions, you look up uh, at a time when really you should have looked down. Uh, as Tekka <laughs> sort of like, just like the lizard did earlier, disappears before everyone's eyes. No. Um, uh, <laughs> swallowed by the dust beneath his feet. Me? I guess we can't do that. <laughs> There's our new cleric. <laughs> <laughs> Did Tekka, like, fall? It looks like he fell, like, into the ground. Uh, I guess if I saw him do it, could I use a reaction to try to cast slow fall on him? Or feather fall? Not slow fall, whatever. Uh, 
Yeah, because it's a reaction spell. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yeah, uh, a, re a, re a creature uh, which you take when you or a creature within 60 yep. feet of you falls. Yep, so yep. he has to be a falling creature for me to cast this he, on him. He, so, yeah. He's, um... Ugh. Let's say that it works. Cool. Yeah, he'll... Uh, yeah, right after it's like, let's be careful, yes, and then Pega falls and says, whoop, you know, whoop. Whoop. He'll do his little whoop. slow thing. Uh, but yeah, as far as you guys can tell, Tekka is gone. Tekka! No, he's fine, just uh, we need to go find him, but he's fine, probably. What? Where? Can we just follow him? I mean, I don't know if fall or is exactly the thing to do. Becca, can you hear us? That was a bad pun. <laughs> Lots of time, Pontifex. Hello! <laughs> you know, some people call me Pontifex. Hello! <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 Tekka, uh, say, uh, roll me a. Uh, roll me an athletics check. Can do. Okay. Uh we'll 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 get back to you. <laughs> what is the party doing? Uh Pip's gonna go to where the hole was, like try and find the edge of it. Okay. Uh he'll, uh, he'll he... tell the vultures in vulture speak to like beat their wings really fast to try and get any dust out of the way. Uh yeah, okay. Uh, that vulture comes over here and beats the like um, the wings, uh, sort of like fanning uh, with with something. It, the, the wings are rigid, so it's not like as good as if they weren't. Uh, but there's still just like a really large surface that displaces a lot of dust. And with a lot, I mean a lot. There isn't the reason why Taka has suddenly disappeared out of sight uh, is that directly ahead of you uh, there seems to be a pit that goes something like this and it is completely filled with dust feet and feet of it uh, Taka you're currently suffocating and uh, you are not managing uh, to climb your way out of this out, out of this it's sort of like quicksand, uh, but you sank just immediately. Um, with with the with the birds uh, doing some work to like displace some dust, uh, you, you cannot excavate this. It's too much. What's the plan? Oh, oh, someone do something! Tech is down there! We don't know how deep it is, right? Ah, uh, you guys can tell, but it's enough that... Tekka is not visible. So at the very least, like, his full mm. height. And so... On. Can we tell that Tekka is, like, trying to climb out and having difficulty? Yeah, I'd say you kind of, uh, when the birds stop uh, um, moving their wings, you can kind of tell that it does, it's, it's a river of it. Uh, it's this gray river of dust, and you can see some displacement coming from the spot where Tekka disappeared. Okay. I think yeah. I have rope on me, and I will let it down into the space where Tekka disappeared. Okay. And hold on to it, hopefully that, hoping that he can see it and reach it, or it hits him. If he's still in the same space. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Teke, you are still in the... Um... Uh, how do I put it? Uh, you've been holding your breath, and you are like at the very edge uh, of how long you can do this for. Uh, and you, you, like feeling around your surroundings, you, you touched a wall to one side while you were like trying to sort of like jump up and swim up through uh, through this matter. Um, and as you're trying to like grip onto the wall to, to climb up, uh, you feel a, a rope. 
Uh, and you hold on to it. Um, I'm not going to make you guys do a check for this, because like if Brooke and maybe someone else like Devamia pulls on the rope, uh, it's going to be simple enough. Uh, mm. So when you feel some tension on the rope, you pull it up and you fish up Tekka. <sighs> this well? chasm is dangerous. <laughs> Alright, so what I said earlier about being careful. Maybe don't just look up, maybe look everywhere. Are you okay, Tekka? I... I am frightened, but fine. You, you've got a little something, um, right... I can sense the dust all over. You are not wrong. You have my gratitude again, Brooke. All of you. Don't worry about it. My advice, look in all directions. <laughs> <laughs> Sound advice. So how are we going to get across? Hey, guys. Uh, Devamia sp speaks up as she lets go of the rope and starts, like, uh, rolling it up to hand it back to, to Brooke. Are you getting... Hey, you, you know that feeling where, like, somebody's looking at you and you're pretty sure that somebody's looking at you, but you look around and you're not sure who is looking at you? Hmm? Yeah, that. I'm getting that. Hmm. I don't know. Do I? No. None of you. No. <laughs> uh -uh. Right, I, I, I don't know why I, I spoke up. Not helpful. Maybe we could chop down this big mushroom thing and, and, and lay it down. That would take a while, probably. Uh, is there a rock nearby? This one? Like a small that oh, small one. <laughs> 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 Sorry, yes. Man there's, not, plenty. Not <laughs> there's plenty of rocks around. They're not Great. particularly interesting to Pip, but they are rocks. Okay. Tekka's going to throw a few across this area and see whether all of them sink. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that works. You get you get a good feel for, like, uh, the fact that, like, these, these spots, these feet, these square feet directly ahead of you, uh, everything just sinks. But further up ahead, it doesn't. Uh, it feels like there's maybe at its widest that this chasm reaches 10, 15 feet wide. Um, and beyond it, the pebbles just land and roll. How do we cross? I mean, I someone need, like you uh... could probably jump it, but I, I don't know about me. If the dust is a problem, uh, I can turn it into mud. <laughs> and, mm. I don't know, it is maybe more traversable, uh, maybe mud, and then... Uh... If we have some person over, we could try to use the rope. And if you the can get or... me across, I can, uh, I can ferry everyone over pretty easily. As well, up to about 500 pounds of people. How far is it? You have to cover a 10 foot gap if you traverse here. Okay, we could, like, hmm. If you're comfortable with that, me and either Devamia or Tekka could boost you into a jump with our hands and leap you over it and then you're on the other side uh, sure but uh, the 500 pound thing is like a one-off uh once I, it once it crosses i can't get it back oh i thought you meant you had to be over first uh no i my little uh, disc 
thingy that I used to haul around mm. the, the owlbear corpses and such. It just sort of follows me. Uh, so if I make it here, you can simply get on it. And then if I cross, I believe. It... Let me check my brain just before doing something <laughs> Let me stupid. Check my brain. Uh, the Vabi confidently says, I think I can cross it on my own. It can move across any of the up or downstairs, so it's like, but it can't cross an elevation range of 10 feet or more. Never mind. For example, it cannot move across a 10 foot deep pit. Yeah. <laughs> Never oh. mind. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Many wizards have thought of this, and all have failed. <laughs> I have consulted my brain. <laughs> In any case, I don't know how I'm supposed to get over there. Well, as I said, we can leap someone over. Say, make sure the rope is steady on one side. We make sure the rope is steady on this side. Then we can just try, I don't know, to swim along the rope, through it. How high I don't is know the how... ceiling here? About How 30, um, no, more. It's about 50 feet up. Do you, do you two think that maybe you could lift some of us over? Talking to the birds. Um, but that's me not understanding lift. What do you mean? Areas? They don't fly, if that's what you're asking. Oh. Yeah, they're flightless birds. Oh, well, you're birds. Their wings oh, are made. They were okay. <laughs> their wings are made of stone. They, they don't fly. The birds fly. They don't have a fly. You don't <laughs> fly. Flat, flat. <laughs> we don't Flapping fly. Shields. We don't need it. Why do you have wings if you can't fly? To hit and protect. <laughs> then why not just have hands? No. I don't know. Huh? Think about it. Your hands look <laughs> squishy. Mm. We yeah. could just crush them. I mean, but you won't. <laughs> Do it, you won't. <laughs> no. uh, Why are you antagonizing your friends? <laughs> um, no. Uh... <laughs> Out of character. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, hmm. uh, meanwhile, Tekka has tied Brook's rope around himself, around his body, and is holding the spring-loaded quarterstaff. <laughs> okay. And is going to try to shoot across. <laughs> Do you want me to hold the other side of the rope? That would be great. Heck okay. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'll hold on to it. Ah, the, the, the gnome improvement to the staff. <laughs> Nobody accidentally step on the rope. And then I will do a dexterity check to see if Tekka will hold on. Let's hope he does. Yeah, you better not let go of that. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> Let's see. That is fine. We're fine. Hey, We're fine. Mina's improvement <laughs> to your to your staff comes in handy at this particular yeah. moment as you just take off. <laughs> <laughs> Push the staff into the ground, you hold on to it as it like just goes <laughs> the the spring letter mechanism. Like it nearly the entire staff nearly slips out of your grasp from the sudden like the sheer force of it. Uh, and you are you hold on to it and you're carried along uh, to the other side. You land on the solid ground you had verified earlier was indeed solid. And you look back towards the group. There is solid ground. Who will be first? Do we just hold on to it or are we trying to put the rope around something first? If it's long enough, you can try to tie it around something. 50 feet. I can help. I can also help those 
getting across. Yeah, how are we gonna get the birds across? Well, if you allow me to carry them, I can make multiple ways. Hmm. The birds throw them? are strong enough to be able to jump over the chasm as long as they get a running start. Oh, nice. I have 18 strength, they can leap 18 feet. Strong birds. All right, I guess Pip will try and go across the rope. Ah, uh, yeah, the birds jump uh, and get over here. And Dvamia similarly can make the jump quite easily. Uh, if Pip is using the rope... Um, wait. Describe it to me one more time. How is Pip doing it? Uh... So the rope is like it's being held suspended over the 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 chasm. Yes, that's how mm -hmm. I imagine. So Pip is gonna, I guess, like one hand over the other, try and uh, climb across. Starting like above, above it, it, and then it, but like hanging, through, hanging down from yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sure. Let's make it, uh, let's make it, uh, uh, mm. Is this a strength thing? Should it be athletics? Probably. <laughs> okay, make it an athletics check at advantage, because the rope helps. And you're small. So small. Pip's running jump you is used to climb feet. the trees. <laughs> four feet. You used to climb... <laughs> Ooh. Oh! You used to climb the trees growing up. Uh, but never will felt... again. But like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> on a five, oh no. Um, a rope is different. It's not like as, uh, uh, you know, as solid as a nice sturdy branch. Uh, and like dangling from it, you can feel it that it's like, uh, you know, curving downward under your weight. Um, and despite your, your companions holding it taut enough where it will be safe enough to, to, to go through, your, your, your grip slips. Hey, I'm um, almost there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, it wasn't just that. You felt something tug on one of your feet oh. when it was in the dust. Oh. And in, in a moment, you just swallowed into the chasm. Oh, no. <laughs> Tekka drops his course after the ground and leaps into the chasm. Two clerics! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Wait, is the is the rope still around you? Yeah. Oh, okay. But, Never like, mind. Tekka tied it around himself. Yeah. Yep. Then okay. I'll hold on to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, both of you take five bludgeoning damage. Um, as like this almost feels like falling just through air. Like the, the dust itself cushions your fall very little, and you you like you hit the ground somewhere beneath you. Um, uh, sorry, I said both. Would people? No, people would take it too. Uh, yeah. So both of you take uh, take five bludgeoning damage. Um, and uh, Pip, you're you're not exactly free to to move ah you are being held by something ah uh, how, how do i do this how about we go in initiative everyone ah uh, yeah everyone squeak. <laughs> which, which side is squeak on <laughs> uh, uh it's this side your thing Uh, okay. Roll initiative. Uh. Oops. Oh, what? I... Is this correct? Oh, no. Uh. Uh, 
Oh, I love it when Squeak is one above Pip. It's like the most ideal initiative. Yeah, 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 that's very good. Oh, did you just do that twice in a row? Yes. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Bring this up. Yeah. Wait. The like that. There we go. Oops, I forgot Talix. <sighs> Alex has a plus two. Oh. Do I do I add that to his counter? <laughs> no, he didn't roll it. It wasn't him. on top of the initiative again. Okay. Hmm. So what we're gonna say is that it to to begin with one two In addition to the fall damage, you take seven bludgeoning damage. Um, and you are being held tight. Um, and I, I mean, not just from your from your ankle, uh, but your limbs can't move. You feel wrapped inside of something that is cold. Uh, and you can feel like the, the rough uh, stone scales around you. Uh, and we're going to just go ahead and actually enter initiative for good, starting with a brook. Okay, I think brook will move Pontifex a little bit aside. So he could be a little bit behind the rock. And then put himself into position so he can lean with his feet against it. So he has like something to lean on in case he has to pull mm -hmm. against someone and then just wait for a sign from Tekka. Okay. Yeah, you wait basically for the rope to, ca to get kind of taut so that you know that somebody's mm -hmm. like holding like, onto it. Because right now you don't even know if Tekka's gotten to Pip yet. So speaking of uh, Tekka, you... Jump right back into the dust. At least knowing what you're doing instead of suddenly falling, uh, it gives yes. you time to like. You take a breath. You jump in. You know. You know what you're in for. And uh, you know that all you have to do is just find a pip and hold on to him. Um. So I'll, if that's what you're doing, and there aren't any like shenanigans or any features coming into play, we'll just make it an investigation check. And all right. Make it a perception check. You're. Mm, yeah, you're, you're like trying to hear him out. You can't really like search. Uh, you're just using your senses, just your hearing. Makes sense. Let's go. Okay. Um, despite the dust kind of softening, dampening all, all noise, almost as if you were underwater, uh, and you, you can feel its its weight on you. Uh, but uh, you, with your feet solidly uh, on on hard ground you you move in a direction where you where you hear a, a struggle um and your hands touch something and it's not hip uh but it feels like a a long thin body um 
you feel the the rough scales beneath your your fingers uh something that feels like a very big snake great um yeah does tech have the option to do more than that um oh yes Yeah, I think just the initial reaction for Tekka would just be to like try to tear this thin scale body off of Pip. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, let's make it work like an opposite uh, grapple check. Uh, okay. So you roll athletics. And you. You have to beat an 18. Oh, no. Close, but... Close. Um, the the size of this snake that you can uh, that you can feel is you're like... You can't even wrap one of your hands around the, the width of its body. Uh, it is big and it is strong. Uh, and it's just firmly wrapped around the tiny body of Pip. Yeah, that use up your action. Yes. Anything else? I don't think there's more tech I can do. Okay, then squeak. Are you kidding me? Uh, I I mm, I don't want to go in there. <laughs> uh, sorry, I mean, uh, Granny's gonna kill me if I don't. All right. <laughs> 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 he dives into the uh, into the dust, mm -hmm. uh, holds his breath, and just tries to find something. Okay, uh, we'll also make it a perception check for you. Six. Nothing. I found you. I found you. Oh, that's a rock. <laughs> uh, rocks means pips nearby though <laughs> <laughs> um yeah squeak is lost <laughs> and all of that sounds like <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's yeah, holding his breath for yeah squ for squeak's turn does he, does he need yeah. to breathe okay, yeah he needs to breathe okay um, a Pip. Uh, you are grappled oh boy. and restrained. All right. Um, are there any somatic components down here? Verbal components? <laughs> it seems like these are things that I wouldn't be able to do. <laughs> Being restrained and underneath a, a lot of dust. So you're holding your breath. Um, which means that you have like a, a number of uh, of minutes of air equal to your constitution bonus plus one. Uh, so in your case, you have like one minute where you can hold your breath. Uh, if you'd like to cast one spell with vocal components, um, you get like one shot, and uh, that right. that will put your like number of uh, minutes you can hold your breath to, to zero. You let go of the air you have. To do it, uh, so in following rounds you begin actively suffocating. Oh boy. Um, looking at features, looking at features. Uh. Okay, one creature I can see. That doesn't work. Uh. Panicking. Panicking, panicking. <laughs> okay. Uh. Creature you can see. Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. Alright. Um, I think this is what Pip has to do for now. Pip is going to release the air that is in his lungs uh, in order to just 
you know, touch this creature on all sides uh, as it's, you know, constricting around him, and Pip is just going to cast Bestow Curse. Uh-huh. Okay. And I'm that'll listening. be a wisdom saving throw. A wisdom saving throw. From the Stone Seeker. Five. Okay. It fails. Uh and so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this option that while it's cursed, it must mm. While cursed, it has a disadvantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. Okay. Okay. Friends. Got it. And now Pip is suffocating. <laughs> uh, now Pip has one round of air left in, in, in him. That's it. Okay. Oh, hey, sneak time. <clears throat> the stone seeker will continue to constrict Pip. Um, its strength checks and saves. Yep. Not attacks. Nope. Okay. Uh, attacking at advantage. The thief, uh, does 14 hit Pip? It does not. Unbelievable. Uh, iron. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> um, it's the but, armor that did it. <laughs> uh, the armor giving you just a little bit more uh, volume. But you can feel yep. that, like, it the just space... turtles into the armor as yeah. it's like. <laughs> Horfing down on it. <laughs> the space available to, for, for your body to be in is getting just so much smaller. Um, oh, wait, one second. Also it is. Oh, or, or not. All right. Uh, that means that it's uh, up to the, to the mom bird. Okay, uh, Beast Bond is gone now. Um, and so there's no longer a telepathic link between them. Uh, but... Uh, it is still under animal friendship, so mm -hmm. I think it feels a tendency to want to help. Mom so, instinct kicks in. Yeah, I think mom's just gonna stand here and flap those wings, try and get maybe even a little bit of visual on what's going on there. Okay. Um. But it might just make a cloud of dust, which might make things worse, but <laughs> animal brain. <laughs> yeah, from, from this direction... Yeah, uh, some dust gets, dis gets displaced. Uh, and from this bird alone, it's not enough to make a difference. But maybe once a second one joins in. On the facts. Uh, uh, you said that we're not able to see it, right? That's correct. You don't see anyone currently in the pit. Hmm. No, I have to be able to see that. Mm. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's just do it. Uh, the professor's going to uh, move up to like, the edge of the, the cliff. Yeah, right here's fine. Uh, and then I'm going to upcast create water to second level. Um, and I'm going to uh, I can't do it in a container, uh, so I'm going to make water fall as rain in a 30-foot cube, uh, and it creates 10 gallons. Uh, and I'm just going to make it in a, in a yeah, 30-foot cube and try it? to kind of jam it. I'm what? Did you say you're upcasting it? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, when I upcast it, it's an additional 10, so yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, so my yeah, so forty gallons. Oh my god, I'm on fourth level. Uh, no, it's it's thirty by default. 
Wait, no. Sorry, 10 it, gallons, 30 foot cube. It's 10 it's per now, level. It's now 20 gallons. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, uh, you're, you're dropping yeah, water all it. around. Yeah. Um, He's trying to basically turn the dust into, like, mud so that it's easier to, like, climb through. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And it is, like, lower in the, like, total ball, like, the height of it. It is sort mm -hmm. of, like, compressing down into mud. Um, I'm just gonna... Yeah, sure. Between the, uh, okay. the shield vulture pushing back some dust, uh, and you making it wet and creating mud at the bottom, uh, this is, like, enough, um, space freed up, uh, that, uh, you, you like you're you're beginning like occasionally you see the the top of Teka's staff or uh, what what feel what seems like the the head of a reptile uh, just kind of like coming up through the dust and then back down. Um, so you're beginning to like get a visual on where everybody is. Uh, anything else from from Bontifex? Uh. I don't think so. Uh, wait, am I able to see Pip yet? Uh, not yet. Okay, then no, that's it. Okay. I don't know how Devamia can help. <laughs> um, she has a bow. But like, let's let's just say that she um going to get on like this rock if yeah uh and uh, she will just hold out her bow as like it's clear at this point that it's some kind of snake in here uh but she's holding her it will attack until she's uh, sure that uh she can take good aim at it and not risk hurting it uh we have another bird austin Yes, bird. The bird flaps. The bird True. flaps. Wait, is it all mud now? Is that what's... Some of it is mud. Mm. Um, there's still some that can be, like, pushed away from... Like, it, it was 20 gallons of water. Ah. Uh. The, the bird can make himself useful by doing the same thing that yep. the other bird is. That's what I'll do then. Uh, as for Talixa, though. Wait, let me read this real quick. Okay, no, too, too, too much, too much, too much. Um, can you guys think of something that Alex would do? Mm. Not immediately. Oh, no, not really. Get it out here so I can sketch it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a way to look at his spell list? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking at it, but... Um, Can I take a look too? Oh yeah, yeah. You can open this sheet on. Uh... Let's all climb in. <laughs> in his head, like if you if you look at a campaign, you can click on his sheet. Uh... Probably, surely not private. Okay. Okay, okay. I was thinking maybe wind wall. Oh dang! It doesn't really like push things upward. It pushes them like aside. So I feel like that might just like. It might clear the middle, but then, like on the sides of the ravine, uh, you guys would just be pushed up and, and up against dust. So maybe that doesn't really help. Uh, 
Uh, there is no plant matter here that can help uh, for plant growth. <laughs> if we does want to have, spend does the Does he tree... have... Yeah? Does he have to see or does he know that it's a snake down there? So he could use animal friendship? Can't see it, yeah. Okay. Although maybe... Maybe the... Uh, channel divinity for charm animals? If he has an inkling that it might be a animal? Uh, the, the snake had popped up a couple of times. Um, so maybe we, we can do... Sure. Each beast or plant creature I can see within 30 feet of you. Mm. Yes, it requires sight. So he needs to be the one we've seen. Um, nah. Animal friendship requires uh, an enemy that uh, that animal that he can see. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's go with that, and we can keep the divine thing uh, as a backup plan. Uh, let's try animal friendship. It's a wisdom saving throw on the snake. Who excels at the save. Oh, damn. Well, <laughs> he tried. Uh, he calls out to oh. Pip, that's his turn. <laughs> Abruk? Um, I'm... Doing the same as last time. Yeah, you're still like, you're ready to just pull up whenever you, like, tag yeah. and tugs at rope. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, Tekka. At the very least, you are in physical contact with this snake. Yeah. I just don't know what the best course of action is right now. Mm. Do I try the same move again to just kind of get the snake off of Pip? Or do I try to like wrap myself around the snake and then ha try to have Brooke pull it up? I don't know. Constrict the constrictor? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Those are like the two only viable options, I think, because I think just damaging the snake will not be enough and Pip will start to suffocate really bad. Um. I don't, yeah, I don't know if you'd be able to notice that the snake is noticeably more lethargic. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, so in, unless anyone has any good ideas, I think I might just try the grapple thing, the grapple check again. Try to get the yeah, snake. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's another athletic right. check. Down in the dust pit, Tekka tries to free... Uh, pip from from the snake and indeed oh, well this time you only have to beat an 11 hey and you do uh just with your mere bare hands uh you manage to uh grab like one part of the snake's body and pull it just enough that you can feel like pip uh squeezing out of its grasp And it, the turn order here is actually quite good. Um, does is that, that is mean, that it for wait, you? Does that mean he wants me to pull as well? Um, let's let let's say you get like this happens on Pip's turn as Pip can like hold okay. on to Tekka. That's good. Yeah. Ah, uh, because that that took Tekka's action. Uh, Squeak is still lost in the dust pit. All right. I think I'm finding you. Here we go. You over here. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll a new perception check. Ooh, and well, very good. Wait, squeak wrong ends, way. <laughs> squeak ends up finding Tekka. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, let's go, buddy. Hey. <laughs> 
Ei. Mm. <laughs> Ei. <laughs> uh, and Pip, you felt, you felt a hand uh, pull you free from the snake. <laughs> All right. Pip's gonna uh, try and squeeze his way towards his... the the savior. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you I, and you like hold onto his arm. Uh, bonus action. Pip is going to use telekinesis to try and shove this snake away. Uh -huh. uh, it's a strength uh, save, yeah. S strength save, which it has disadvantage on. That is correct. Do -do 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 -do. Seven. Fails. It's pushed five feet away. Uh, the mushroom. And yeah, at this point, Pip is just like, just frantically trying to mm -hmm. get up to where he can take a breath. This would be like the moment when you would drop to like on on at the start of the next round when you would drop to zero hit points from suffocation but like so you can just feel yourself right on the verge where like your your body's about to like instinctively just inhale even if there is no air it's just going to take like uh just gulp down this dust in desperation and right as you're you're feeling like you're about to give in into this instinct uh brooke you feel the you feel the tug and you pull the rope up uh, and it's harder than it, than it was before. Uh, you're pulling not just Tekka's weight, but also Pip's, uh, which is not a significant addition. But uh, your your strength is sufficient uh, to get like both of them on the edge of this chasm uh, and up uh, out of the dust and the mud. They they look just gray all over. <laughs> oh. Oh, does, no, Pip a, does Pip have an action still? Um, I, I, I saw you grabbing Tekka sort of like a grapple. So not Sounds good. really. <laughs> um, it's a snake time. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, the snake knows exactly where you are. It's snake o'clock. Snake o'clock. Let me actually... Uh... And I didn't set my clock back. Okay. The dust settles. There is no additional movement in this pit uh, that the rest of you can perceive. And we can leave initiative again. Uh, with the majority of you back on this side <laughs> of, <laughs> of the pit. And Devamia no hovering undone. ominously across the way. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize she's she over like, there ascending. Yeah. Yes, she's ascending. Yeah, on a rock. <laughs> sorry, I'm. I'm sorry. I let go. <laughs> You, uh, you are safe now. Maybe this isn't the best way to do this. And really, what what are we doing this for? For them. They're babies. Uh, Alex heals Pip for 11 points. <laughs> what, if, what if your tadpoles were in danger? <laughs> that that is both incredibly anatomically inaccurate and also racist but I'm going to move you say you're it. a frog every day <laughs> <laughs> the ground is shaking oh there's a low are you sure we want to do this for eggs 
There's a low rumble that echoes throughout the cave. And then a sound of rocks falling. Uh, a slide taking place. Uh, it, it, it's it's loud uh, and it's uh, no not everyone dies, but it's like it's a sound that's taking place somewhere behind you, uh, and it tremors after a few seconds eventually fade. Never mind. So it's way behind us. Like the way you came from. Um, now that's great. The rest of you are getting that feeling. That feeling that you're being watched. Oh, now I feel it. <laughs> this cave <Yeah>. sucks. <laughs> I don't want to be here. I agree. Um... Hello? There is no response. Tekka, do you still have your axe? Hmm? Uh. I mean, I'm assuming you had an axe. You have everything, so I just <laughs> assumed. <laughs> uh. The Vamya from across the, the chasm. I have an axe! <laughs> well, two axes would be even better. I have a saw. What are you planning, Brooke? Well, there's this mushroom tree. That seems long enough. Make it fall to this side, over there, and then we have our way. We're not touching that dust again. Maybe you should talk to the mushroom first and ask it how it feels about that. Hmm. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nah. uh, Tekka clears in space and does a running jump across the river because he left his core staff on this side. <laughs> I'm assuming I can't do the running jump with other people together, like holding them. Carrying them, if they're um, small, if they fit within your your carry weight. Let me, let me see. You're off. Um. Oh my God, your carrying capacity is insane. That's right. Uh, you could lift other people and their equipment, and it would be really easy for you. How do you see that? I don't see that. Um, so if you go in your inventory, in the very top mm -hmm. left of your inventory, it says weight carried, right? Mm -hmm. If you left click on that, you can see your encum encumbrance. Carrying capacity 630 oh. pounds. Because you are currently strong as hell. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're a fur bog. You have the powerful build. You have doubled stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, fur bogs are real strong boys. Yeah, and you, your strength well, has increased as of lately. I total 120 pounds equipment and all. <laughs> How much do you weigh, Pontifex? <laughs> he gestures vaguely at his heavy armor and metal weaponry and shield and also old man bone density. There uh, is not a single person head. in this party whose body weight and equipment exceeds like 450 pounds. No clothes. I am a god. We don't say that here. Um, I think Pontifex. He's like a pretty frail old man, but he's pretty tall, so he's probably like. I think with all of his equipment shit on him uh probably close to like 250 pounds something like Let's that see, you have your weight down as 170 and your inventory is 80. okay well there you go 253.5 mm -hmm. there i was solid i don't think i ever put a weight all right if you want i can carry you thanks to Cass. 
and I point at the bell and jump over. And I can do oh, that right, multiple times. That and I can do that multiple times and then we have then we're done with this. Learn we just have to hope that we don't have to get back fast. Frogatos. Does that sound like a good thing? Or should we check out what that stone sound was for? I mean, it, it, it sounded like a cave-in. Mm-hmm. Which means we're stuck down here forever. So we should make the most of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's make the most of it, and I'll take Pip, take a few pips, take a few steps back, and jump over the thing with Pip, okay. and then come back. <laughs> and I'll do that with everyone who allows me to. <laughs> <laughs> This should be like an Olympic event. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's even more exciting when there's a giant snake below. <laughs> yeah. Does Pontifex allow me to? The port of my pride says no, but the uh, necessity says yes. I'll be very gentle. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> <laughs> Toss the wizard. I'll eat myself. <laughs> Brooke, you've. I, it's so. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 don't be overeated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hate when you overeat your Talixes. Ah, oh, Brooke, uh, years of combat and training pale in comparison to what this belt can do. Um. Is this, this is a jump that, like, normally on your own you could clear, but not while carrying a grown adult armored person. And now it's almost nothing. Yeah, why do people train us? I can just use magic. Hmm. Oh well. Let's move on. <laughs> Um, so Pip is going to reach down in his bag of marbles mm -hmm. and just like start sliding them along the ground ahead of him oh. one at a time. Make sure there's nothing else crazy. Okay. Uh, the dust on this side of the chasm is so thick that like the marbles nearly disappear into it. Like it's a, a couple of inches tall, uh, but as far as... Like, as you, as you begin to toss them directly ahead of you and proceed very slowly, it feels like the ground is solid and it's solid and it's solid. Um, and, and you... Uh, actually, sorry, like, right over here. Um, you're hearing something directly ahead of you uh, around this bend. Um, something that only to your ears sounds like words. Um, and... Uh, this uh, voices are talking about something and you keep hearing that the, the recurring words the chained one get the chained one wait for the chained one yep that sounds like level 6 stuff uh <laughs> People just wait for everyone else to catch up before he does anything else. So are these voices we can all understand, or is no, it only... just just Pip and Vamia? Okay. Um, but yeah, to to check his ears, uh, um, ah, it's oh boy, it's lizard noises. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, uh, hissing of tongues. If it ever matters, my sword doesn't glow anymore. 
And okay. they probably had to let go for this of this for pulling them up. Uh, sure thing. But uh, this section of the cave, though, it's even without Pontifex's light, you can see clearly. These plants are emitting light. Some of the rocks are emitting light. It's soft. Uh, it's bluish in color. It's pleasant. You would actually enjoy the view if you weren't fearing for your life. Um, Pip's going to send invisible spider squeak. Spider squeak around the corner. Invisible uh, spider squeak. On. Okay. Um, what is going on around the corner is that uh, uh, there is a snake here. Um, and uh, the very lizard that had kidnapped Squeak earlier. Uh, over here. Uh, and there's like a conversation taking place between the two of them. That like, to, to, to Squeak means nothing, but it's it's what Pip was hearing. Um, and as Squeak is just listening to this and uh, Pip is hearing it through, uh, through his... Ears, right? He gets hearing besides sight, right? Yeah, yeah, he does. Um, then he hears something else, another noise coming from this other branch of the cave, and a significantly larger lizard comes through and uh, enters uh, Squeak's field of view. Um, and besides being bigger, uh, there's two characteristics to it that immediately catches attention. Uh, one being the chains, uh, those that are wrapped around its neck and around its uh, uh, ankles and sort of drag across the floor. And everybody can hear the sudden, sudden noise up ahead of chains dragging over stone. Uh, and the second thing is that the... The stone scales that cover this giant lizard, uh, the majority of them are like partially attached or falling off, and there's bits of darkened flesh that are barely clinging to the exposed bones. This thing looks more dead than alive, and yet it's moving as if it was completely uninjured. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Pip is going to, um, Pip is going to break off, uh, a, a braid of his hair, a lock of his hair, and send it telekinetically to Pontifex. This is, uh, this is, uh, a token that as soon as you can grab it, Pontifex, you can hear Pip in your mind say, um... Okay, there's a really, really big lizard, and it's got chains all over it. It looks awful. It's like, I don't know, it's like it's not even alive. But anyway, they look very, um, uh, fireballable. No! <laughs> uh, I can see Pip, right? He's just pretty far away. Uh, yeah, you have the right line of sight on Pip. Is he within 60 feet? I think 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yeah. Uh, then Pontifex can reply in your head. <laughs> Do you want me to... I mean, I'm not exactly want to say no. Yeah. Yeah, come on up. Yeah. Okay. Quietly. I, I'm just sort don't, of noisy. Don't the clinking is part of the process. Just be aware that uh, once you sense that fireball, we probably have to fight. So everyone should get ready. Ah, uh, sure, you, you, uh... you didn't you didn't hear that conversation. However, it was a telepathic oh. one. Oh, never mind. Yeah. You're being you're in the dark. You might want to. Uh, I, I actually know, maybe am. Pull squeak back a little bit, though. Yeah, whenever you say the word, I'm gonna poof him back. Uh, yeah, Pontifex is going to try to get as <coughs> up as I can before he gets noticed. I'll, I'll keep telling you through your mind where they're at and what they're doing. I guess you just, you tell me, Winter. 
Um, I guess I'll try to like guidance himself on trying to sneak up, I guess. Uh, go ahead and roll your, your stealth check. I don't play to you very often, but uh, which is the which is the Ladarian or not the Ladarian, which one's the Plurnin god of like sneaky? Is it the fox? Sneaky? Yeah. Uh, the god of sneaky. The god of sneaky. I, I don't I, I I've never thought of a god of sneaky. <laughs> Gotta be a sneaky. I, uh, there's plenty of sneaky gods. The fairy so, dragon, I maybe? I mean, Let the me eye flies, uh, there's the snake. Well, I'm trick. sure the snake what's... doesn't make a whole lot of noise. Uh, Wait, what's oh, the, the trickery tressum. one? Trickery is Tressum. a tressum. Oh, oh panther. Ooh. There you go. The yeah. panther. That's Twilight Cleric. Yeah, That's pretty there good. You go. There you go. I don't write to you often, but uh, uh, maybe just a little bit of help you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, guidance can't trip on before he moves in, if that works. Mm -hmm. The bar uh, that comes from your pendant is very subdued. <laughs> no, it is fine. We will talk about this later and not now. <laughs> <laughs> we can't argue in front of the kids. <laughs> is this a stealth check? God's drama. Yes, it's a ste stealth check. This okay. is Hades. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so this, and then I'm going to add a d4 to it. I don't think it's going to help. Oh, loud. Oops. What? Oh, sorry. Zero. You did it too fast. He's doing it again. My dad was yeah, being wacky. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> you had to give it a moment because. Oh, yeah. There we go. I don't zero. think this will help. <laughs> oh, it's it pretty might. good. It's a 10. It might help. Yeah. All right. Let's see what their what the stats are. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Pontifex, you have my inspiration if you'd like. For this. What stuff. the inspiration is, have me roll again with the disadvantage. I, I'm just like, you know. This is pretty funny, but it okay. says right here passive perception 10. <laughs> so, uh, you meet it? Is that how it works? Wait, which one has to meet which one? Mm -hmm. It's I like passing like a DC, sets right? the DC. Stealth. Uh, and stealth is rolling it against it. it, so it is the goal to hit. Hmm. Active perception is against the stealth roll, so meets beats. Stealth rolls are against passive perception is meets beats. Okay. Let's go so with I that thing. Passives are always numbers to, to meet, and actives are always beating numbers. I am amused contested. by the fact that it was exactly a 10. Um, that makes sense, yeah. That actually I was like, well, crap, it sounds like I need the inspiration, but <laughs> never been. <laughs> 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 He's like tiptoeing and like with every little clink of the metal, like a pebble falls or like a mm. water droplet happens or like a chain <laughs> from the dripper jingles. It just like mm -hmm. matches up just enough. And, and Tekka, like there's a moment where Tekka can see just like, like this big broken tail um, wh where it, it's like it's been bitten off or maybe part of it fell off. Uh, and instead of growing back, uh, it, there's just a stub there uh, that is like actively bleeding out, uh, and that's a moment when Pontifex gets like next to Tekka and gets like a view around this corner. There is only one. You I lied. No, there's there's multiple. You saw Elros fireballing to do. Yes, there are. There are multiple in that little cave section. <laughs> oh, you mean the one where I have to stand next to it? Yeah. No. What are you, a sissy? <laughs> yes. Come on, Professor. Oh, this is stupid. <laughs> Bonifex is gonna keep moving forward. Wow. I guess I don't know. I don't know how far up I can go. Uh, well, the, the obviously his goal is not looking at you um, here, but that's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> you passed the Unless stealth. it does, I don't know. So, uh, Pip is going to be talking to to you in your head. Would it be helpful if Squeak made a noise like on the other side of the room? Yes. <laughs> Pull that to the room. Okay. All right. Yes. Squeak's gonna come over <laughs> here. Something. Why are you whispering telepathically? Why are we whispering? We are in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just have force a habit. 
um, okay. And then <laughs> Pip is going to talk through Squeak and speak in animal tongue to the lizards and say, uh, Say what? <laughs> <laughs> he says. He just like moans at them. This was in lizard tongue. Yeah. Moaning. Oh, I'm a wall. <laughs> okay. Um, I will reveal secrets to you. Come close. <laughs> He's invisible, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, at this distance... Oh, go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Squeak can see that the the snake seems to, like, actually see it moving across the, the floor. Uh, it makes eye contact as it begins to speak, and then comes over and tries to eat him. No. Yeah, that's when Ponifix is going to try to... I guess try to move up. Okay. My goal is here. Uh, and it, it does look like these, uh, uh, all these things are actively looking away from where you are. Great. Can I see the this one? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Great. Then Pontifex is then going to yell out loud, uh, like very loudly, uh, to like hopefully it echoes through the chamber. He's just now. <laughs> and <laughs> Pip will pop yeah. him out. I will fire right ball the, the moment that. Yeah. Right as the Stone Seeker's fangs are about to close around Squeak. Uh, yeah, I will cast Fireball, but not Fire. Uh, let's do. I can do Fire, Acid, Cold, Lightning, or Thunder. It works before the Thunderball, the tried and true. <laughs> let's do it. Oh. All right, the Thunderball. Uh, I think it's a 20 foot radius, so I think that hits everything. Yeah. Uh, so DC 16 deck saves from all of them. Okay. So, uh, the already damaged uh, dripper. Ah, not one. Look at that. Uh, the <laughs> Stone Seeker. Uh, it's not very good. 11 and the chained dripper <laughs> not 20 Ooh, kind oh, of a good. baby roll <laughs> not a great roll but it's okay 25 thunder damage to fails 12 on success wait did you say this is a strength save uh, no, deck save. Deck save. Why was I adding strength? Hold on a second. I don't oh, it's, know. It's way less. Yeah, I don't know why I was doing that. Ooh, it's way less. Are, is there such a thing as a um, critical on a save? No. No, so it's a total that matters. Um, yeah. So actually... And your DC is? 16. Wow, it fails on a on a natural twenty. Oh wow! Whoa! Cool. Whoa, wait, hold on. That means it has a zero. Oh wait, no, I can't do math. Sorry, it passes. Jesus! <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm out of water, and I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna take a break before we start this combat, <laughs> and I can, it's clearly wait, no, affecting me. That means it has a dex of two. I was okay, removing it, the strength passes, modifier. I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, okay. 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 We got it. We got it. We're That's fine. The damage. <laughs> Twenty-five thunder on fail. Twelve thunder on success. Okay. So this lizard is torn apart. It's a shame you can't see it. And Squeak would have loved to see it, uh, as yeah. is the one that nearly <laughs> ate him. Uh, but the the stone makes up the uh, its scales and just goes everywhere. And turns out that beneath that that the uh, tough rocky exterior there is there is flesh and there is blood and uh, um what you can see of this cave uh, um it, it's uh, well it's good the pip is not seeing it uh the stone seeker oh it wasn't hurt earlier um 
and a total of a 25. Uh, it survived, although in terrible shape, and it's like thrown against the wall from the uh, the, the power of that explode of that sudden explosion. Um, and it has done a reasonable amount of time to the bigger one, which like from all the way up here, um, it it's like kind of difficult to believe. Uh, and you were you you never thought you'd see something like this on the Dara, but you are staring uh, at the back of an undead creature who after taking a look at the area around, turns back towards the, the source of the voice. And after uh -oh. this break, we will roll initiative. Great. Hey, fireball is a great way to start an initiative. It's Indeed. awesome. Yeah. Well, rest in peace. I think I said this before, though. that like in all my years of d and I've never actually cast a fireball uh, before Pontifex did it in that tournament. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I, like I always felt like it was kind of overrated, but like I get it. <laughs> it's <laughs> I fun. Fireball's sick. Y'all, I've missed this. This is great. I've missed all of you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. How long? How long can we actually go for 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 the rest of the day? Can we do an hour and a half or an hour and twenty mm -hmm. minutes? Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, sounds okay. good. All right, good, yeah, excellent, I can do, awesome. Like just just under an hour and a half, whatever right. that top of the hour is for you. Yep. And I'm just going to call for a six minute break, and I'll I'll see you right after. Go ahead and roll initiative, everyone. All right, Let's there get the it is. Initiative. Three is it confirmed I'm dead? It's pretty obviously undead. Because then I will have a question soon. No! Uh, basically, as soon as Pontifex communicates this to you guys, or... I will well... let you know as soon as my initiative comes up. At negative one. <laughs> negative one? Oh no! <laughs> I think you guys will see it before you hear about it then. Uh, Pip knows this too. Squeak was able to like see as much. There you go. <clears throat> I was about to say like is Brooke still on top of the initiative? But no, it's just not. Am set. I? Was it twelve? No. no, no, no. It's just not set in your thing. There we go. Oh. So I don't know why it always starts. Ah. But. Wait. Oh, the dripper is an initiative. No, the dripper is dead. Get, get out of here. There we go. Uh, so we begin... With the snake! Who's actually kind of stuck back here? <laughs> Aha! <laughs> Calculated. <laughs> uh, ha. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, the snake is up <laughs> to something, and you don't know where it is. Um, then I can see Alex it. is next. Uh, what? No, you can't. You can't see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. It's invisible. <laughs> uh, following the thunderous explosion of Pontifex's spell, uh, the rest of you here in the back were like getting ready for things, and uh, um. You're all within range. We could just do another blast. What a, what is this spell slot situation? Yeah, why not? I, ca I cast blast and I will get uh, uh, Tekka Pip uh, Brook. I, I don't think I can. Can I get within the uh, five ten? Started from over here. Um, we we'll just put him within thirty feet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's do it like before. Pontifex, Tekka, Pepe, and Brooke are blessed. Am I in range? Yeah, 30 feet. Just Perfect. enough at the edge of his movement. Uh, yep. 
Oh, it's still me. Oh, wait, you know what? Actually, it would have been difficult to rain through the... Maybe Talix couldn't actually make it. Uh, let me let me double check. He started from here. Yeah, he can't. Uh, moving through friendly units is difficult to rain. But like, yeah, he can't. Uh, sorry, I take it back. Pontifex doesn't get it. <laughs> uh, it's okay, instead, I see how yeah, it is. Take a pip broken the Vamia, and then he's just going to like stay back here and try not to be in anyone's way. Uh, and speaking of things being in the way of other things, uh, the Vamia will just have her bow. Uh, yeah. And hold an attack for whenever something dangerous comes to uh, interview. We're all and gonna guess, have to duck. Guess whose turn it is next. <clears throat> <laughs> Everyone has to duck. Come at me. Um, the lizard noises mean nothing to you, um, but uh, Pip. Uh, the, the the lizard says, "You come at me," and uh, slams down one of its legs and whips one of the chains towards Pontifex, who needs to roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh God! Everything is dex saves. I see. <laughs> Today it's dex saving throw day. Oh wow! Ma <laughs> All right, <laughs> yeah, you just barely get out of the way of this chain. He was about to lasso you and pull you in, um, but uh, you, like you, you do a little jump and it hits the ground where your feet would have been, uh, and and the creature hisses angrily at you. Um, mm, yeah, okay, Pip, your turn. Okay, um, hmm, I think, let me just count distance here. Yeah, I think Pip is going to step up, uh, point his left index finger over in this area, and create bonfire. Okay. Like, right here. All right. And that's it. Moving on uh, to I one guess of the... Ma magic stone. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you set up the magic stone. Uh, moving on to one of the shield vultures. Um, not much that they can do. Guess just gonna scoot over here. Dead. Uh, in like a slightly cramped uh, space. Oops, too many. What about Tekka, then? So, um, yeah, this is probably going to be one of those silly monk turns again. So, silly monk turns. <laughs> Love it. Mm. So move over there. Can the Dripper be attacked from this style or no? Um, yeah. Well, oh, okay, cool. let me look at the tile. Oh, yeah, it's uh, you can actually stand here. Nice. Okay. So we begin with an attack. Let me roll for that. Uh, give me one second. There we go. First attack. First attack. Hits. Okay. And then I need to do something silly. Give me one moment. And, okay, so I'm going to use a maneuvering attack, which will allow a creature that can see you to use its reaction to move up to half its speed. Uh, oh. And I will choose Brook. Brook, you can move half your speed. Right now? The, uh, I believe yeah. so, it's a reaction. It's a reaction. Woo! And I then I speed. add... <laughs> D6 to the damage. Okay, there's going to be some calculations going less. on here. 
Uh, okay. So you can go. One, two, plus three. That is 12 damage. Uh, a 12. <clears throat> oh, that's the damage. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. and this is your, your staff? This is core staff with the. So uh, yeah, with the bonus. Yeah. It's bludgeoning. Um, wait, mm -hmm. what, what bonus? Oh, it, it's just the uh, next to D6. It's just. Uh, what is it called? From the I maneuver. Aha. Uh -huh. From the maneuver, yes. Cool. Yeah, the, the bludgeoning damage goes right through. Okay. And as a bonus action, I will take a two unarmed strikes. As I told you, this is going to take a while. <laughs> Please be patient. Uh, yeah. Yep. It's it's how it be. <laughs> yeah, the Doing go. cool monk stuff. Cool monk stuff. That's how we're going to hit. Oh, I'm no. guessing. That ten does not do it. Yep. Well, let's try. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What if you bless? You're blessed, though. Oh, I'll bless on that one. Um, yeah, uh, roll, roll d4 for both of those. Okay. Huh. Four. A 14 oh, uh, hits. Okay. And for the second one. And a 14 Three. hits. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Clutch. great. Yeah. And then I think there's some extra nonsense. Okay, great. Um... <laughs> So, when you hit with a flurry of blows attack, um, it should roll a dexterity saving throw. Ah, turning the deck saves against me, I see. <laughs> okay, what have we got? A magnificent three. I heard through the grapevine that they suck at decks. <laughs> it, falls, <laughs> it falls prone. It's indeed negative. And also... It cannot take reactions until the end of its next turn. Damn. All right. It fucked with the wrong group. So the damage is taken it's eight and five. Yes. And then it's time for the second attack. Who's yeah. ready? What? <laughs> I love the monk nonsense turn. That's not gonna do anything. It's prone! You have advantage! Oh! Advantage. Okay, great! <laughs> Thank you! You're welcome! Advantage and bless! Okay, here we go. And then roll the bless? No, I don't well, need it right. 15 hits. 15 hits. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, oh my god, I actually cl closed the tab. That was not a smart decision. No! <laughs> Uh, I think I remember the damage, though, so it should be fine. Um... Yes, there we go. Um... That's nine damage. An extra nine. Oh, oh uh, one God. thing I should have said in case it's relevant. I, f I should have mentioned this before. I apologize. What uh, is it? But it uh, for the unarmed strikes, uh, they overcome resistances. I don't know if there's resistance, but... Uh-huh. Okay, just it's in case. noted. Just in... Yeah, just in case it's relevant. Um, uh, uh, I think I'll leave it at that. I could do more nonsense, but I feel that's more than good enough. That so. is some good nonsense. Mm -hmm. uh, Brook, with, with Tekka's okay. guidance, you have stepped over the, um, the vulture. And you're beginning to squeeze your way into this small passage. Let's see, how far is that? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh. oh. I can't get to him. Oh, I no. can't get to him. You're five feet too short. Oh, well, I'll, I'll just <laughs> here. And I will... Human speed is 30, right? Yeah. You can get here. Oh. That diagonal was the, the 10 feet. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll leave it at that. Uh, you're doing nothing with your action? 
I... I mean, is there a rock near me? Like a pebble, I yes. Can, yeah, I mean, like a bigger one I can throw at him? Mm -hmm. You can do that, <laughs> you can dodge. <laughs> sure, I'll take one. How do I do that? How do I... You take it from me as you're passing by. <laughs> 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 Paper sending out rocks like water to, to marathon runners. Sure, if I can do that, then I'll throw that rock at him. <laughs> Roll oh, yeah. d20 plus oh, 7. Wait. It's a disadvantage because it's prone. Oh, roll a d20 but plus 7 twice. It's blessed. <laughs> disadvantage. So. Uh, so that's a, like a 17 most plus you hit. I mean, okay. as, as you'd imagine damage? hitting Your like roll? a big... 2d6 plus 4. 2d6 plus 4? Damn! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the some big chain rocks. lizard on the ground. Ooh, nice damage. That is fully taken. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I do love the mental image. Tekka is just hitting it over and over with the stick and kicking it while it's down. Brooke comes over and throws a rock at it. Uh, if it was looking pretty rough when it first came out of the cave, uh, right now, yeah, it's... it's uh, the, the stony flesh that makes up its body is like just falling apart before your eyes. So like peeling off and leaving behind the skeleton of it, which is very much still moving around and hissing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, burb number two. Ah. Ah, burb. <laughs> ah. Ah. Peck, peck. Heck, uh, <laughs> there's a wall here. I know. Heck the wall. Peck, peck. Stone pecker. You got it? You got it? Peck. Uh, yeah. Squeak. And Squeak is not currently in existence. Squeak is at the beach. Squeak is at the beach. Um, then Pontifex. <laughs> yep. Uh... While this thing is flailing on the ground and being having a bad time, generally, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to Tasha's Mind Whip to also give it a bit of a brain blast. That's a uh, wisdom save? Uh, int save. Intelligent int. save. Oh, that's right. DC 16. Let's make an animal roll in here. Ooh, that's a good one, though. Um, <laughs> 15. It is a fail. It takes uh, seven points of psychic damage, and it can't take reactions until the end of its next turn. Uh, and also on its turn, it has to choose between the three. <laughs> it's okay. <dead. laughs> it's 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 <laughs> it's either has to stay prone, <laughs> or it has to stand up and then not do anything else. Okay. Rough time. Uh, and then the professor is going to move. Um, I can move through your fire, right, Pip? Is it just you ending my turn in it? Yeah. <laughs> it will hurt you if okay, you fail it a deck as save. you pass through. Yeah. But you're good at deck saves, right? <laughs> Synergy. You can absorb elements and then whack him. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, no, I guess the professor's not going to move then. He's going to stay here. Okay. Uh, actually, can I move back one? Is that a valid space? Yes. This one? I'm, I'm trying to see if it's like 50% free, and it kind of looks like it is, so sure. Yeah. Like, this one wouldn't. Uh, yeah? yeah? Approximately, yeah. yeah. Take, take Up to it. you. Cool. Just to get out of that chain thing. I don't know what its reach is. Okay. Snake doing snake things. Pip, does a 23 hit you? 
<laughs> yeah. The nightmare resumes. Oh no. Uh, as the snake comes out of what is definitely solid ground. But to it, it's like it's nothing. Uh, all, all you like for you, you're looking up ahead. So really, all you feel is suddenly you get like pulled back. Uh, you thought that maybe the Vamia grabbed you, uh, but it's not a hand that just grabbed you. Uh, and you're feeling those stony scales around your body again. No. <laughs> um. As a stone seeker. Um, Rushes you for 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh lord! Oh lord! Um, Devamia was holding an action to hit, like, assuming that she would see something over here, but I'm just going to, like, let her shoot this. Um, so I guess it's, uh, it's a ranged attack at melee range, uh, which doesn't work out. Oh, I'm sorry, I accidentally rolled your dice in. It's okay, I don't accept. I was rolling a concentration check. Um, on oh yeah, the stuff concentration. Curse. Okay. Wait, um, it's one minute. It's been way longer than a minute. I assume. The concentration, the concentration, blah. The concentration is on what? It's bestow curse, but it only lasts a minute. I feel oh, like. Oh yeah, bestow curse. Longer. Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's gone. Plus, create bonfire is concentration as well. Oh, true. Uh, oh, but still, yes. So, okay, I have maintained concentration on bonfire then. Mm -hmm. That stays, indeed. What was I about to do? Oh, Talix, that's right. Um, so, this snake is being bad, uh, and Talix is starting to be low on. Uh, on the uh, uh, spell slots, so, so let's let's do the thing. Let's do the divine uh, thing. Channel divinity. Channel divinity charm animals and plants uh, within thirty feet of him, uh, which really just means yeah. The the vulture technically gets affected, but it's not like it's going to have an effect on the on the battle. Uh, so we don't need to save on that. Um, so, charm animals and plants, each uh, beast or plant creature can see within 30 feet, and it's a roll of wisdom saving throw the DC is 14. Four! Nice. Without a teen. <laughs> Dang, okay. Um... If the creature fails its saving throw, it is charmed by you for one minute or until it takes damage. While it is charmed by you, it is friendly to you and the other creatures you designate. Um, well, Pip, you have been the victim of a sudden hug that was <laughs> a little bit too tight. And then it's almost like the snake adjusts its grip on you so it's no longer painful. Um... It, it, like, it's a little confusing at first, but you did hear Talix just walk up to him and tell him to be gentle, please. Um, I forgive, but my ribs are... don't forget. <laughs> uh, you're no longer being uh, in the process of, of being uh, killed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, Devamia was like, just about to get out the axe and start stabbing it, but Talix sort of like holds her back and says, "No, no, no, it's it's fine now." Um, and she very cautiously, with the snake now being an ally, uh, she's going to move through it. So this is 10, 20, 25, uh, basically here. Uh, gl glances back and is a little perplexed at this, and then we'll just dash. And uh, uh, <laughs> get in front of fragile pontifex. Yeah, yeah. Don't know what you're alluding to. <laughs> <laughs> she just ha uh, jumps in like an armor in shining night, saying, "I've got you. Stay behind me." 
fragile? Not so much. <laughs> but can I jump rope? No. Um, the dripper chooses Correct. to stand up. Uh, and hisses. And, uh, um... Pip... You sense kind of like a little bit of panic in its voice as it says, No, no, I have just stirred my chains. It's her turn, Pip. Uh, you're no longer restrained. Yeah. Had a feeling this wasn't the boss. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, Pip will just, you know, pat the snake on the head. <laughs> And <laughs> come over this way. You guys had a rocky relationship, but you're cool now. <laughs> rocky. Yeah, I am a poet. <laughs> Here, let me let me move this mushroom out of the way. Here you go. I am so strong. <laughs> <laughs> Mushrooms <laughs> move at my command. <laughs> uh, Pip's going to hurl a rocket. This snake. Okay. Take out the old slingshot and there we go. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, bless. Oh yeah. And not save that. I'll just tell oh. you. <laughs> Fine. Then Pip is just like frustrated, and will instead put out a hand and uh, do a pull back motion with it, trying to pull it into the fire oh. uh, with his bonus action. So strength save. Whoops! Just dropped a die. Uh, strength save is this much. Sixteen. That succeeds, pretty sure. You, like, gently tug at one of its chains. Yeah, what well, about... you're gonna earn your death soon, so... Hmm. <laughs> what about Dead Vulture? Hmm. Uh, would you say it has the intelligence to know that this is friendly now? Hmm. <laughs> That's a fair question. Um, Reintelligence? So, I would say no, but uh, they are listening to your commands. True. Uh, they can understand you and they have been like following your lead this whole time. So, with your warning, uh, despite what it would rather do, um,. It, it, it can hold back if you don't want it to attack. Yeah. You don't I think want it, to it will, it will like, break keep a very close eye on it, though. Stay yeah, it's like by it. Puffing up its stone feathers. O hold an action to attack if it does anything off. <laughs> okay. Uh, that brings us to Taka. Okay. Uh, now that the dripper is mind whip and cannot do any reactions, would it be possible for Tekka to leap over the dripper and get to the other side? Uh, it's been its turn, so it should now be able to take reactions again. Okay. But that does sound like a cool thing. Cool. <laughs> what should um, I so roll? We to can make this we can make it. Yeah, we can make it an athletics check and see if we can hop on the other side. Let's go. Wall run. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why not? The monk nonsense is back. <laughs> I live for it. Uh, yeah. That would take like the entirety of your movements to get over here. But uh, um, yep. sort of like you, you basically put a foot on it as it was in the process of standing back up. And it gave you like a little bit of an extra bounce. Uh, and you pull yourself using the wall. Uh, and you manage to clear the its full distance, and you you tumble on the other side on the on the ground. You stand back up, and you're directly behind it. All right, and with that, let's strike. Uh, that's not going to do anything, I don't think. <laughs> Bless us not to save this. 
Yeah. And so we try again. Because <laughs> two attacks. Okay. Bless now the block? This. Yeah. As you have gathered the armor class is 14. Oh. oh no! Well. Enough. I do have a bonus action for one unarmed attack. So. Let's do that, if nothing else. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There's at least something on the board. <laughs> 24 hits. Mm-hmm. Let's do one quick check. Uh... Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything fancy I can do. It's just regular damage. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, here we go. That's your so five damage right there. <laughs> just five a little punch to the rump. That mm -hmm. ignores resistances. Got it. And that is end of turn. That brings us to Brooke. Brooke, you just witnessed the tech of jumping over this thing. Nothing surprises me from this man anymore. You're just proud of him. Yeah. Where can I stand? Can I stand here? It, no, that is a, no, it occupies the three squares. I also can't stand here without getting hurt, right? Oh wait, here, I mean. The, um, that's correct. You could, you could take the damage and walk through, if you wanted to. Sure. Okay, Austin got up for a moment, so I'm just going to look real quick. Uh, Create bonfire. It's two d eight. Oh, you're back. Uh, Ah, yes. Uh, what happened? Roll, roll damage against the Brook. Oh, Brook, no. <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth okay. it. You're flanking now. Hope so. You roll a dex save? 12. Oh, fire. no, I haven't yet. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a dex save. Well, you might not take any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. But now you know you the see, stakes. You <laughs> <laughs> You're about to be a stake. Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah, that's one cooked brook. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, worth it, worth it. If I saw my friend going through it, I might just drop it. I don't know what the rules are about that, but I can't. Um, concentration well, can be dropped like at any moment in a, in in a combat, even if it's not your round. Um, yeah. but. I mean, it hasn't been very useful as far as getting this guy. Mm. Uh, we, we shouldn't do it after the rolls, though. Very yeah, true. Yeah, it's fine. I can't click on the minus, so... Oh. Just imagine that's a 36. Uh, 36, maybe I can do it. Uh, but go ahead and roll your attacks or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe that wasn't so smart because I haven't done the... Oh, well, you know what. Well, bonus action. Right off the dawn. Time to do more damage to myself. Ooh. Oh, wait. Okay. We attack now. Does that hit? Yes. Okay. That's okay. Twelve so, slicing and six radiant. So we and reduce the the slashing, but we double the radiant. That also my my question comes into play because it says when you hit an undead creature with a weapon for which the right of the dawn is active, you will an additional hemocraft die when determining the extra damage from the right. Oh, wow. So does that mean I get another d6? Another d6? Coolio. And we double that one, yeah. too? Yeah, Brooke. So it's an extra 10. Yeah. Yeah, Brooke. Brooke, how would you like to kill this giant <laughs> lizard? There it is. Yeah, nice. Hmm. You know what? Take it from the mouse and just actually just cut off its head. 
with one swift swing. Quick and clean. Um, you cut off its head, and your your weapon just bursting with radiant light cuts through bone like it's nothing. And when its head rolls on the ground, uh, it it tries to bite your feet, and you stab it again. And as the skull is now um, just sticking through your weapon, uh, it no longer moves, and neither does the rest of the body. Congratulations, you have absolutely destroyed <laughs> the Chained Dripper. And there is now uh, silence throughout the cave. But besides your heavy breathing and the um, crackling of the bonfire that is right next to Brooke, um, the shield vulture in the back is... Uh, um, is quacking angrily at the snake that is um, now placid and actually getting like a little bit closer to Talix. Um, as they're having a little bonding moment. Um, and as you're done catching your breath and uh, just getting a feel for the situation, you hear uh, a now familiar sound that you've already heard before. Uh, chains dragging against stone. Um, and it's from somewhere behind you. And Talix turns back uh, and sees something. Uh, and his reaction of sudden um, fear, it's plain to see on his face as he um, hurriedly tells you that it's time to leave. In which direction? <laughs> okay, that uh, answers that question. Well, he's just uh, running towards you. Pip's gonna <laughs> drop the bonfire and uh, summon Squeak back. And yeah, I guess we'll run. What did he uh, see? What did you see? Um... It actually like takes him uh, a, a few moments to to, uh, uh, to to spit out the word as he's stumbling on it. Uh, but he, he uh, as he runs and his uh, uh, breath is heavy, he says, "The, the uh, dragon." And from around the corner, um, as the sound of dragging chains uh, uh, gets closer and closer, and the shield vultures are following uh, Talix quickly, while the, uh, the the snake seems content with what's going on over here and utterly relaxed, um, you all just catch a glimpse of it. It's uh, for the Pontifex. With what you have seen, this one is pretty small, uh, but it's still big enough that it could eat any of you. Uh, there, there are chains that are uh, tied around its legs and its neck and part of its body, and they're holding down its wings, like they're pressed down uh, against the sides of its body. Uh, and they're, they're not really tied to anything else. They're just, like, getting dragged around from it. Um, its horns uh, and the, the dragon version of their own box, they're black, they're pitch black like onyxes. Um, but more than all of that, what do you, what really catches your attention is that just like the giant lizard you have just fought, uh, its scales are peeling off. There is exposed bone. Its head is more just a skull than uh, a full, healthy dragon head. Uh, and there is empty eye sockets that uh, stare in your direction. Its mouth is twisted in a grin. That is where we'll end the session. Ah! Uh oh! I want my twelve HP. Oh! Oh! oh it's small. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! It's small. Hi, baby. <laughs> Little cloud following. <laughs>
He did. That's sad. <laughs> I wonder what the story is. <laughs> Maybe we'll find out. Next time. Next time. Mm. Cool session, Winter. Yeah, excellent. I am loving the the the, the questions that are being raised here. And the dead as well. <laughs> How did we end up here for eggs? <laughs> yeah. Worth we should tr stop trusting the animals. I think these two could just take this thing on their own. <laughs> <laughs> Talix overreacted. It's a baby. It's just, I mean, look at it. <laughs> Let's adopt it. Can we? <gasps> <laughs> All right. Um, that that that's it for today. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. What happened to its wing? Oh, mm. oh no. Oh, you little injured wings. It just needs a little love. It worked. Um, oh no, Austin, you'd be missing next session. Oh! <laughs> but you, you and the burbs. Get oh. my rock for me. I can't control both Pip and Talix. It's, it's too much. It's right here. I can take over Talix. Uh, I it can would take over be, Pip. It would be nice if you guys could, could do that. Uh, and like split yeah. control of. Uh, that, would, that would help me so much. Uh, I don't think I'm too rusty on my cleric. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the right, recap let's... for Austin because I mean there isn't really that much <laughs> yeah, it was it was a very fight heavy session um, so I'll, I'll handle that uh, and we're going to be playing this upcoming Sunday unless unless we can find a uh, a midweek day where like Austin can make it everybody can make it oh Ooh. lord I sure can't this week <laughs> okay that's fine <laughs> It's perfectly fine. Then I'll, I'll see you on Sunday at the same at the same time. Alrighty. Um, thank you for making it. I'll. I wish you a wonderful week. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.